In this video, I'm going to document how I use my Zhiyun Smooth 4 with Filmic Pro on the Samsung Galaxy S10. How to connect and set up Filmic Pro with Zhiyun Smooth 4 how to use the three Filmic Pro shooting modes and other features. What else can Filmic Pro do and cannot do? I'm gonna cover all these plus a bonus free download at the end of this video. If you are watching this video, you will know that the Zhiyun Smooth 4 is a smartphone gimbal for stabilizing video shots. It has a comprehensive control panel to operate without touching the phone especially the two control wheels, the hand wheel and the thumb wheel, which will be used extensively with Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro is a third-party video camera app for iPhones and Android phones. It has manual camera controls quite similar to a professional camera. It can record very high-quality videos better than the native camera app. Though I think the video quality is already very good coming from my Samsung Galaxy S10. The S10 has got 4 cameras and can record up to 4K resolution with HDR and image stabilization. It so happens that my S10 runs on the Exynos processor, which means it can do more with the Filmic Pro app. You can check your Android phone compatibility by using the Filmic Pro Evaluator app. Now let's connect Filmic Pro to the Zhiyun Smooth 4. From here on, I'll stop saying the word Zhiyun correctly because everyone else is calling it the Zhiyun. Instead, I'll just call it the Smooth 4. Before turning on the Smooth 4, Insert the phone into the phone holder and balance it. Ensure that Bluetooth is activated on the phone. Turn on Smooth 4. Activate Filmic Pro. Tap on the settings menu. Select hardware. From this menu, you can see that Filmic Pro supports these three gimbals. Turn on Smooth 4. If this is the first time connecting, you will need to choose your Smooth 4 device first. If your phone fails to connect with the Smooth 4, ensure that the phone's Bluetooth is not paired with any other devices and also make sure that the phone's Bluetooth is not paired with the Smooth 4 because we want Filmic Pro to pair with it. Smooth 4 is now connected. Tap anywhere outside the menu to exit the settings. Now that the devices are connected, let's set up Filmic Pro for the shoot. Inside Filmic Pro, let's get back into the settings. Select Resolution. I have the choice to choose 1080p, 720p, 540p, 2K, 3K, 4K. But my preferred choice for now is HD 1080p. Quality-wise, I can choose Economy, Standard, Filmic Quality, Filmic Extreme. For now, I will choose Standard. For aspect ratio, I've selected 16 by 9. For video codec, there is AVC and HEVC. Choose AVC because it's more universal. If I scroll down some more, I've activated HDR. If the resolution is set, tap anywhere outside the menu to go back. I'll select frame rate. I can choose frame rates from 24 all the way to 240 frames per second. As for now, I'll choose a standard 30 frames per second, and I will leave the options below at default. Tap anywhere outside the menu to exit. Next, I will set audio. I have only one camera microphone option for now. If I were to plug in an external mic, it will be shown as an option. As for the frequency, I can choose between 44.1 or 48 kilohertz. As for now, I'll just choose the standard 44.1 kilohertz. As for the options below, I have turned on headphone monitoring, which I love best. With headphone monitoring, I can listen while I'm recording, which most other camera apps can't do. Tap anywhere to go back. Turn on the grid, which have already been turned on. This is to help me compose my shots. 
final setup I will do is to select the camera. Filmic Pro has detected the four cameras. Somehow it has left out the zoom camera. As for now, I will select the wide camera. Now let's exit the settings and explore the three Filmic Pro shooting modes. Choose a shooting mode by pressing the center button on the smooth 4. This will cycle through the three shooting modes, the auto mode, the manual mode, and the reticle mode. Now let me use a Pac-Man machine and a spaceship for this example. Shooting in reticle mode. In the reticle mode, we have two reticles, a circle reticle and a square reticle. The circle reticle sets the exposure. I will move the exposure circle reticle over my subject to use its exposure level. The square reticle is for focus. Press the left thumb wheel button to lock the exposure. The circle reticle turns red when the exposure is locked. Press the right thumb wheel button to lock focus. The square reticle turns red when the focus is locked. Press the left or right thumb wheel button again to unlock the exposure of focus individually. You can also press the top thumb wheel button to lock and unlock both the exposure and focus at the same time. For beginners, you may ask, why do we need to lock the exposure? If I were to unlock the exposure and introduce a bright interfering object, you see how the exposure fluctuates. However, if we were to lock the exposure, the exposure remains consistent. Shooting in auto mode. In the auto mode, the exposure reticle becomes the larger rectangle and the focus reticle becomes the smaller rectangle. And they both adjust automatically depending on what's in the center of the image. In auto mode, the reticles can't be moved. They can be locked. Press the left thumb wheel to lock the exposure. The exposure reticle turns red. Press the right thumb wheel to lock the focus. The focus reticle turns red. Now they are both locked even in automatic mode. Most of the time, I prefer to lock the exposure and leave the focus unlocked, especially when I do product review videos where I like to move the product further away from the camera or nearer to the camera and let the autofocus do its thing. Shooting in manual mode. Let me put a dark background so we can see it clearly. In the manual mode, we get two arcs, the exposure arc and the focus arc. Rotate the thumb wheel to adjust the exposure arc. Rotate the hand wheel to adjust the focus arc. Right now, my spaceship is overexposed. I'm going to adjust the thumb wheel to get the exposure right. I want to change the focus from the spaceship to the Pac-Man machine. I just rotate the thumb wheel to change the focus manually. I can also switch to manual from the auto mode or the reticle mode just by turning the hand wheel or the thumb wheel anytime. Now, let me show you a cool trick. Right now, I'm gonna set the focus onto the spaceship. And then tap on the arc to mark the point. Next, I'm gonna set the focus onto the Pac-Man machine and then tap the arc to mark the point. Now I'm going to press the right thumb wheel button and see what happens. The focus changes smoothly. This is what we call focus pulling, or even better, automated focus pulling by Filmic Pro. How do I know if the focus is accurate? That brings us to the next chapter. I'm now going to document some of the Filmic Pro features that are specially designed for the Smooth 4. Press the display button to reveal live analytics, which are indicators on the screen. These green lines tells me that this area is 
properly focused. Now take a look at the spaceship as I move the focus over. See those green lines? Another name for these green lines is called focus peaking. I like to use focus peaking when I'm adjusting focus manually. Then we have the zebra stripes. The blue zebra stripes represent underexposed areas and the red zebra stripes represent overexposed areas. Press the target button to change the hand wheel into a zoom control. Press the target button again to change the hand wheel back to focus control. Press the camera button to toggle between the selfie camera and the main camera. Press and hold the camera button to reveal all the camera options and use the thumb wheel to select. Press the record button to start recording. You will see this circle turn red and the timer starts counting. Press the record button again to stop recording. Press the bottom thumb wheel button to play back your recordings. Tap on the video you have recorded and watch the playback. The menu button now simply becomes a back button. Now, finally, the bonus. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Feel free to leave your comments and questions down below. And if you haven't done so, subscribe! Go to the link below to download your free PDF checklist on how to use the Ziyin Smooth 4 and Filmic Pro. This is Adrian Lee from Videolane.com. See you in the next one.